Okay, so this is Fury of the Furries for Amiga. This is our first game on the Zeal Wheel for this Friday. Okay, so that was the introduction. Definitely not a rendition of Indiana Jones right there, but uh, okay, pretty damn good stuff. Um, hmm, music sounds a bit slow. Oh, never mind. Okay, so we selected to, uh, yeah, 60 MHZ. Uh, oh, hello. Select language, uh, yep. Winners don't use copies, enter, okie dokie. Okay, it looks like it's all working a okay. Oh, hello. Uh, we play previous game. Uh, we have no previous games, just a new one. Oh, what's the sound setup like? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll keep it as on. Yep, definitely. Um, I guess we s start off at the desert. So yeah, I don't know too much about this game. Um, I have played a game called The Lost Vikings where you sort of control each individual character. You have like a group of three. And I think Fury of the Fur is, is actually older than this game. I think it is. But it has a sort of similar vibe to The Lost Vikings in that you've got different characters and all got uh, different abilities. Okay, and here we go. Uh, okay, the jumping's a bit weird. Actually, you know what? Um, yes, I think it was yesterday or the day before. No, sorry, it's either Thursday or Tuesday. I played a game called Super Orange Man, which um, when you surfaced out the water. Uh, the rest of the level turn was like a giant um, springboard. So I'm sort of holding down. So excuse the throat. I'm holding down up to sort of bounce higher. We need some sort of momentum there. Okie dokie. Oh, there is a time limit as well. And that's what happens when you press fire. He shoots um, or spits out some fire. Uh, 
Oh, just notice what are they spikes? Gold signpost, okie dokie. Okay, cool. So that was like, um, I guess a little tutorial level. Always good to have those around this part rather than just... I don't know, I like games that start off really, really easy then just like gradually go into insane territory. Uh, teleporter? I'm not sure what... Do you have to land on it like that? Oh wait, something's happening there. Green? What's going on? I should have took note of that danger sign. So is that all the... Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing the next three are dangerous here, the next three tiles. Okay. What, did these fall on us? That one does. Okay, now we're introduced to, um, just call him Red. What does Red do? Um, headbutt the wall, it, or whatever, <laughs> headbutt the floor. Oh, okay, so it's pretty much like the digger. The lemon variation. Oh, hello. What did I do there? Was that... Did we have to like choose a character by doing that? Hang on. What was that? Down and fire? Oh, it's just down. Okay. And then... Oh, I see! So, that's how you turn into... Okie dokie. Okay, that's pretty easy. Wait, what does, uh, what does the blue guy do then? Oh, yes, hello man, how's it going? Yeah, I just started it, but it looks very promising. I have heard lots of good things about the game. Yeah, the music's pretty amazing. Oh, okay. Wait, hang on a second. So, if he can, can they all swim? Let's find out. Probably going to regret doing this, but uh, need to find out. Um, oh, I can swim left and right, but I think it's the blue guy that can go all the way down. Then let's have a look. Gotcha. Okay. And he can shoot bubbles as well. Ooh, and you can kill people as well. Or people, you know, fish. The people of the water. Let's 
this one, this fish looks a bit upset. Probably because we just murdered his family. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. I heard, I heard, yeah, I haven't heard lots of really good things about this game. And, yeah, I might have seen it being played on Amiga Live. I seem to remember the switching of the characters. Well, this is like my first real go at it. wonder if there's a, a purpose of getting all the coins. So it looks like we have access to the green person this time. What can he do? Oh my! Okay, so this is the rope guy. Okie dokie. Right, so we need to latch onto that platform. Is it just fire? Shoots rope straight above. Okie dokie. Okay, that is seriously cool. Oh, and then it's red to dig through that bit. Yeah, I... I said that um, a few of the furries, I think, came before the last Vikings, but uh, I'm not 100% on that. Yeah, I used to, oddly enough, I used to play, well not oddly enough, but uh, I suppose it's odd that I'm making th that sort of comparison. But uh, I used to play a lot of Worms Armageddon, and really was a fan of the rope mechanics. So at the moment this is right up my alleyway. <laughs> right up my alleyway. Falls into the only bit of spikes. Oh, you do get lives in this. Ah, okay. No, you don't get unlimited lives and continues. I have to keep an eye on that. Oops. Close. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can just go through that. Now, I was going to say, that would be impressive if uh, they can have like an, a Worms Armageddon on the Amiga. I suppose it can be done. Probably wouldn't be legal though. There's the exit. Yep. <laughs> and it's very, yep. This definitely reminds me. Even, even getting stuck in the trees can remind me of worms. Just get. Oh, there we go.
Ooh, we got access to all the boys this time. Excellent. So the yellow one spits fire. Oh, there's not much time. Okay. Oops, why couldn't I relaunch the rope? Better be careful. Already it's going onto the rope. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so we had access to all the characters, but it was just basically who you were more comfortable with. It was around the same time, was it? Okay. of that. Oh, you can launch big fireballs, okay. Amiga Kami, hello, how's it going? Hope all is well. Oh, is that, is that platform just going to... Okay, I thought that platform was just going to go down. Got a little bit worried there. Going swell, good stuff, good stuff. There seems to be a lot... Well, at least a lot of Amiga games where... Um, you, like, control, like, fuzzy balls. But, but, why did I say that? Very suggestively. <laughs> if it's not fuzzballs, it was like blobs. Like spherical blobs. Eh, maybe because they're easy to design. I don't know. Oh, this is where we need uh, Mr. Blue. We've got our one up and extra time. And an ang angry looking cactus that kills us. Okay. Oh, squeak. Um. Yeah, that was the um. That was the Amiga format. That was on the Amiga format cover disc. Okay, note to self, don't kill yourself on cactuses. Yeah, that was a pretty good game. That was actually on an Assassin's Collection as well.
Um, okay, at least the one up and the extra time are still available. Can I get... Why can't I get the time now? Maybe because I'm on the wrong fuzzball. Does he have a bit more bounce? Looks like he's got a bit more bounce. Hmm. The irony here is that we're wasting time to get the time. Ah, oh, damn it. Maybe just ign try to ignore the teleport and just go for the exit. Unicorn, hello, how's it going? as well. Oh, can we be the... Oh, why can't we... Why can't we transform? Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, so one or two lives left depending. Depending if we get one on on zero. do with the little features. Oh. Mac into a cacti. Okay, at least we've got one more life. Okay, that's going to be quite... Can I, can I even jump past that? Maybe... Ah, maybe not. Okay, just returns you to that screen. Fair enough. Oh, do you have to ah, we have to start at the very beginning of the world. Okie dokie.
Oh wait, no, we... Have we been in this level before? Oops. I keep forgetting about the cactuses. I keep thinking they're just like part of the background. So I keep forgetting they're not part of the background. They're actually very little cactuses. Or cacti. doesn't go his Amiga back from being sent. Oh, that's unfortunate. I can say something complicated, no doubt. Oops, no, 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 we're fine. going on here. Oh okay, it's a little secret bit. Nice. I don't suppose you can attack the cactus. Oh, okay. We kind of faded out a bit there. Can we still... Oh, and he can't use his abilities. Ah.
Okay, it's going to be the... Oh, I thought I was going to get squashed in that ceiling. Yeah, so I need to try and get past that cactus, but uh, no idea what the solution is here. I mean, I've got plenty of lives. I could try jumping over him. But there's got to be another way around it. Okay, you can just jump over it. Fine. It's just a tricky jump. Oh, you just push it. Okie dokie. And then, looks like, yeah, we've got access to the green dude as well. <laughs> well, they were not lying. There was death around the corner. And we don't have access to the yellow fuzz ball. all those obstacles except the very stationary spikes.
Ah, okay, we have finally left the desert. Where are we now? Some kind of beachy area? <laughs> I do like the artwork, really do. Okay, looks like a job for blue. That moving platform, it is not. Uh, okay, this could be a problem. Okay, what exactly am I supposed to do here? Because I can't exactly escape from this section. Can't rope up or, uh, yeah, just get out of that bit. Just gonna have a look at some of these controls. I haven't actually loaded up a manual of this, but, um, viewing the old batteries, manual, Let's see if there's anything worthwhile here. Okay, so yeah, round about the same time as the Lost Vikings, 93 to 94. It's quite interesting.
Come on, refresh! Stop giving me problems with the documentations! I just want to know a key that um, allows you to restart the level without that completely aborting the game. Because as far as I'm aware, there's definitely no escape on this bit. Unless there's a hidden block that we need to fire out. Oh wait! Oh, okay. Well there we go. It wasn't obvious. And now we got access to... Come on, give us the green guy again. Demiurgi, man. Oh my goodness. That is a huge raid. Thank you very much for the raid of 63 people. How the devil are you guys? My goodness. Um, I wish I could introduce you to me being good at a game, but uh, yeah, at the moment, currently playing Fury of the Furries. I haven't done so bad, but now really stuck on this bit. But uh, yeah, Mega Live. Hello. How's it going? And Baz as well. Hi again. Uh, what were you guys up to? What uh, were you currently engaged in? And uh, yeah, if you have not uh, followed Retro Demiurgi, I urge you to do so. God, that was terrible, sorry. Um, because yeah, he plays a whole slew of retro games, including a majority of Amiga games. Oh, that Syndicate, you started on that one. How are you faring with that? Because um, I did play, a, I think there was a demo of that on the cover disc, but um, yeah, I was more into cannon fodder. Oh, time's running out. Oh, this isn't good. Maybe because I forgot to pause it whilst looking at the manual. But yeah, Herd Syndicate's a really, really, really good game. Oh no, tell a lie, I did actually play some of it. We're going back at like a year or so ago. I remember running over um, these scientists that were supposed to be like a key objective. So uh, yeah, good days for that. But I didn't really, I think that was like the second mission. Didn't really get too into it. Got through 11. Oh, oh nice. You certainly fared better. Ah, oh, Baz remembers that bit. Yeah, great. Good times, good times. But uh, yeah, it's only fared better than uh, I did. seen. hello, how you doing? Opal is well. Was I supposed to go up this bit? No, I don't think so. The grindy, is it a very grindy game? Okay, so I've got the rope, so I've got access to the rope guy on the lower section. Oh, do I? 
Oh, I can push. Can I shoot that? Or do I have to just push that platform to the right? Some missions can be. Okay. No, I can't move that. Can't budge that uh, block. Okay, so it's gotta be something around here. Maybe I'll shoot blocks. Right, no. Oh, there we go. Yep. I remember. I think I did the rest of the mission. I sort of cleared everyone out, but. Uh, yeah, didn't do. Forgot about that bit. Got your guy pushed inside an area he couldn't get out of. Oh, okay. That was lucky. That would have made more sense if that was a destructible block. Um, hmm. Because, yeah, once you go up to this bit, yeah, he's no longer... I no longer have access to the green dude. Just say for the sake of this playthrough, I don't mind. Just for the sake of, I want it'll be nice to sort of uncover a bit more. Board game heaven. Hello, how's it going? the block on the left with the green guy. Let's, have a, let's uh, find out. Oh, I see! Okay. So you had to hold down fire and go back with it. So that'll give us... Oh yeah, we've got access to the building right now. Excellent. Yeah, it was kind of silly not looking at the manual beforehand because uh, I'm sure they would have explained that a lot in detail. Okay. Okay, so that bit moved up. Oh, time's running low. Uh, Sydney Stubborn, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, and then I pull this bit. Oh, okay. I think I think you pulled that bit. No, don't need to go over there. Yeah, it did seem a bit weird when we had access to the green guy as soon as we went down here, because it did seem a bit weird, because it wasn't really a, like an obstacle course.
Okay, job done. Thanks everyone for that. Yeah, this um, this comes on. I think it comes on like five or six discs. So yeah, there's bundles of animation. There's probably like a whole. There must be a whole slew of levels on this one. Lost Vikings had something like I think it was 37 levels, but I can just picture this one having a whole lot more. Okay, so I just got. Oh, so yeah, it's obvious just to down that bit. Can I still get back there? I think I can. I think so. I think it comes on five. Oh, it's a... Oh, cool. That's a little springboard. I'm sure I can dig... No, I can't dig through that. Okay. Oh, that's... That's it, is it? Can I dig down this bit? Oh, okay. I'm guessing there's a secrety bit there that I'm overlooking. You get crushed by the fan? There's a... What on earth is that? Some kind of pig bird? Oh, he's gonna... Hang on. Not sure if he's a friend or foe. Probably a foe. Yeah. I was, hoping, I was hoping you could jump on him and be like a movable platform. I guess not. Telling me to go the other way. Uh, where does this? Oh, I don't have access to the green guy now. Oh, that's a bit bad. Okay, so there's got to be destructible locks. I can't really do anything, can I? I got stuck on this bit. Um, okay, let's have another look at the manual. Oh yeah, it's still, it's still trying to load up the manual. Why is this? Why are you neglecting me, game? Are you expecting to? Uh, yeah, Lost Vikings came on just two discs. Okay, the manual's finally load up. Just want to see if there's like, any controls, like how to like abort the level or just like restart it. It's a massive story. There's some really cool artwork on the manual as well. It's all in black and white, but it's still very nice to witness. Um, okay, I can't see anything to restart. Is it just escape? It's just escape to get out of this. A little bit worried that escape. Okay, that's fine. That's fine if it just restarts you. Uh, back at the start of the level.
Bruce. Ah, but what if we dig down here? Assuming we can, yes we can. We shoot that block that's to the left of us when we go down here and then those two blocks will fall down okay unfortunately no oh we just push that so that rises the water a bit gonna work is it? I would be my last life. Oh okay. Um No, maybe there's a way to sort of release those blocks. Or do you pull? Nah, I'm not sure. Not sure. Yeah, I can't quite. Okay, I think we are we surpassed the hour mark anyway. This I was gonna say, I've enjoyed this one a lot though. Because uh time's time has certainly gone by very quickly. I just realised there's a digger. Yeah, there's a block to my right that looks uh, diggable. Pompox, hello, how's it going? So maybe if you dig past that, you get I don't know, uh, maybe a warp to the exit. I'm not not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, in any event, it is time to stop playing this game. As incredible as it is, um, yeah, I try to play each game on the wheel for about an hour, about an hour or so, so each game gets a fair gets a fair viewing but uh yeah excellent game excellent game i mean some of the puzzles are a little bit unusual but yeah i think with like patience and observation a lot of these puzzles can be overcome okay time to move on <laughs> <laughs> 